And we get the sign to play ball. Series underway. Coming over from Davidson. Pass ball four, leadoff walk for Harrison. The delivery's even quicker. Camilleri puts the bat on the ball, and this one is going to drop over the head of Napchik. Candelaria, it's thrown away in the shallow right. The throw will come into third. NC State takes the lead as this outstanding Louisville defense throws the ball around. If he wants to take that extra base, then you have that ball that's overthrown. I mean, they don't get that run without that smart base run right there. Candelaria into second, the throwing air on Beard. Hawks getting ahead of him. Nixon squares this one up into right. It is over the head of Humphrey. Nixon with the two out double to make it two nothing. So he has some experience, but you know, when you're asked to kind of, you know, play, you know, when you don't normally play every day and you make the most out of it, it makes your, the decision for the coaching staff a lot more easy knowing that they can put you in, you know, a role that they don't normally have you in. In his NC State career. Who strikes one into center fields. King makes the catch. I was going to say it was Peebles who had the walk off, the timely hit against uh, UVA. Uh, but both corner infielders playing some strong defense. This ball smoked into left, and it's over the head of Nixon. Hit on the screws. And it'll be a one out double for Logan Beard, the first hit of the game for the Cards. Ground ball. Inning over. What should be an excellent series. First pitch swing and Jack Payton. And he picks up Louisville's second hit of this ball game. But none from the junior college ranks. That was a bit of a hanger. And this will be dunked down into right fields. Payton will stop at second. Back to back hits for Louisville in business here to start the fourth inning. To see that. Serrano will have only one play. It's to first. And so the sacrifice goes three to four. In the air. And just what Whitaker was looking for. Foul pop for out number two. Breakout candidate for this team. Strikes out swinging. That's ball four, a little low. Play out of this with there only being one out. Base hit in a right field. And then falling down in right is Candelaria. Stop sign comes out at third base. Ooh, I tell you what, Humphrey can run a bit. Napchik puts it in play. This will score a run. NC State will salvage it out on a nice play by Kalai Harrison, but Christian Napchik able to produce the first run with a runner on third base. Green charges and he throws out Peyton. They're they're really the ones that are, are making the biggest impact. That's ball four back in the lineup. First pitch and a base hit. And they're going to test the arm of Humphrey. The throw is cut off and now they've got Candelaria in a rundown. And they will get the out. Cozart didn't want to risk it. Well, we saw the aggressiveness of Candelaria earlier led to a run in the first inning on Tuesday against UNCG. This should end the inning. And it will again. 3-1. On the ground, Napchik can't make the play. It's a leadoff hit for Peyton Green. Pinch hit home runs last year. He's a guy that seems comfortable doing it. This ball's hit and drops. No, caught in right. Green got to break the other way, and he's going to be doubled up. Thomas Newsom, demonstrative with the call that Humphrey hung on to it. Green was staring right at him. Because you know that you're halfway in between first and second, and that right fielder can make a good throw and get you out. Yeah, he did catch it. Wow. I, I think, honestly, there, I don't know if Green necessarily did anything wrong right there other than it, that's just really bad luck. My Phil and look for him to take him the rest of the way. Drilled off the glove of Groover, 
And the nine hole hitter, Keelan, is going to head for second. He is in there with a double. One pitch from Highfill and the tying run into scoring position. He got the ball on Sunday against Boston College as Napchik might have just tied this game right here. Here comes the throw. They're going to hold the runner at third. And they'll be on the corners here with nobody out. And he hits Peyton as he drops down to the sidearm. Now, for those of you that haven't seen him pitch before, that's something that he will do with regularity. But the first time he does it tonight, he loads the bases. Tie game. And he walks McCoy. That's a fair ball. Groover wins the race to the bag. Louisville takes the lead on the RBI ground out. That's a base hit. Going to score at least run. Noah Smith rounding third. The throw to the plate is not in time. You know, that's been the hot corner this inning is, is down the third base line. Anything that's kind of been elevated and middle, middle in, they've been able to, to spin that down the line. And it's, it's tough because Groover, as great as a third baseman as he is, that's just a tough ball to defend against. Another 0-2 from Moralia struck him out. So the lefty does his job. 9-1-2 in the order. Parker Nolan hits this ball well to right fields. It is gone. On the first pitch, Tate Keener throws. Parker Nolan drives it out to right. You know, this is something that you really need right now with NC State's offense. You have a, a grad senior with Nolan that, that he's the guy in terms of experience that's, that's able to provide that spark. You, you give up a four spot last half inning, but it's still a baseball game. This is something that the Wolfpack can still be in, and, and, and you're proving it by, by starting something right here with a potential rally. And that's that arm slot that gives hitters such trouble. But oh, yeah. He serves up a go for ball. Oh, a back foot slider hit him. Got ahead 0-2. Strikes him out swinging. And he got under it. Into left center. Two gone. Strike three calls can slow the game down and, and get back into his rhythm. Could be two. Smoke to Harrison. Four, six, three, double play. And he's got a two-out hit. Talk about almost a, a David versus Goliath type matchup right there. There he goes. And got him at second. Foul tip, strike three. Got to be in the right spot. That ball's up. And so the tying run will come to the plate here in the bottom of the ninth. And it's bobbled by Keener. Serrano reaches. It goes all the way to the backstop, not close. So the freshman comes in and throws four pitches wide of the zone. Ball four. Base hit. Here comes Serrano. Nolan will score. And the Wolfpack walk it off. Gino You know, if there's a guy in this lineup for the Wolfpack that you want to have in, in a situation like this, it's Gino Gruber. He's proven before that he can come up and be that guy in a big time situation to take this game and, 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 and put a W in for the Wolfpack.
Mm-hmm.